Hey loves, this is Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I'm sending you love and blessings to you all. And I really ask and challenge you guys to um, spend some time today and really think about what are some things you're thankful for. Um, express gratitude uh, to the universe, okay? Um, maybe you guys are not in a place where you are experiencing um, love with another partner, but you do have love um, that flows within you and um, a love that's around you. So sending you my love and um, we're gonna see what's going on right now for those that are on a twin flame journey now this is not gonna be a Valentine's Day like special or anything I just happened to record on Valentine's Day um, but we're just gonna see what's happening right now time is fluid right um, but the energy we're gonna get into the energy right now between you and your twin um, perhaps obviously you guys are not communicating a lot of you guys are um, distant from your person so we're gonna see what's happening okay Take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? Throw it out the window. Uh, if it's not for you, um, it's just not for you. Don't force it to fit. A few announcements. I do still have my sale going on, 10% off of everything on my Etsy shop from personal readings, my Oracle decks to spiritual jewelry, okay? Use promo code SOUL10. All right, I think I'm gonna start with the Island Time Wellness, okay? And we're gonna see what is happening um, right now. For you and your twin, okay? Let me get some shuffles in here. All right, what is going on for those that are on their twin journey? Twin flame journey. What is the messages here? What happened here? What's, what's happening? Maybe give me a little bit of uh, background. What's, what's going on in this connection? Okay. Ooh, there's a mask, okay? So not showing true feelings, hiding, okay? Pretending, deluding. So what I'm seeing is that, yeah, your person is wearing a mask. We get this very, very common in a twin flame connection. Um, you're dealing with someone who won't take the mask off, okay? They're pretending to be something that they're not, okay? I feel like right now you guys are on a journey. A lot of you guys are on a spiritual journey, right? Some of you guys may have had like the rug ripped right under from you, okay, with this connection. Some of you guys, um, it could have been an ending that was very devastating, very tragic. It just happened unexpectedly. Um, but a lot of you guys are becoming more spiritually aware in tune with yourself. And you see the true you. You're really, like I'm getting, you guys are going through like a soul awakening and you're seeing your true self at the core. Um, however, your person is still in this energy of uh, pretending, okay? Pretending to be something that they're just not okay and this is someone who struggles with taking that mask off with showing their self being vulnerable okay um some of you guys they're hiding their feelings from you all right they're hiding they're going around hiding their feelings from you um they're not even talking for a lot of you guys they're not even communicating they're holding on to this so you know when you're holding back you're holding on to something that you're, you're, you really just want to be able to express and be free and, and liberate yourself. But your person, is, there's some heavy energy here. Your person is holding on to these, uh, these feelings, these secrets, um, these emotions. And it's heavy weight. It's heavy weight here. So we have your twin pretending to be something that they're not. They don't want to show their true self to you. Maybe they're in fear. Okay. I do feel like they could have did something in the past where they're embarrassed of. Okay. Let's see. What else we need to know? The chaser, okay, so we got a runner chaser type of connection here, okay? Someone's running away, you're chasing perhaps, you feel like you're chasing your partner. Some of you guys, you feel like you've been chasing this person for too long, okay? And there's a situation here, maybe some of you guys decided, you know what, I'm not chasing, right? I'm not chasing. I need to be the one that needs to be chased after. <laughs> so what I'm seeing is that, yeah, there's our, there's our chaser, uh, a runner chaser, codependent connection here between you and your person. Um, some of you guys, we, I'm going to say it, okay, it may trigger you, but what I'm seeing is that some of you guys, it's triggering your abandonment issue. Some of you guys, your person just all of a sudden abandoned you, abandoned the connection. They neglected you. I feel like there was no warning, okay? Some of you guys, it may have happened just overnight. All of a sudden, this person switched off. Um, they weren't interested. They didn't want to continue on in this connection, and it triggered some kind of abandonment issues within you. Now, these abandonment issues, it, it may not have had happened from a child it could have been past life um hurt and baggage that you were perhaps carrying for a very long time so i do feel um 
a lot of you guys this is a divine connection you're going through this for a reason but there's something here that you have to learn from it there's a lesson here you guys may have to learn um to not chase people who you know who are not uh, free with themselves, right? Who can't surrender, who can't just be true to themselves. So yeah, there's, there's some abandonment here. Okay. There definitely was a past abandonment. Um, what else do we need to know? The golden mirror. Okay. Self-absorbed, one-sided connection, relationship, uh, love bombing here. So things were very imbalanced. Okay. Right. Things were, um, there was a lack of reciprocity. Okay. Something here was an equal give and take, right? Like the six of pentacles energy. So I do feel like your person, um, with the golden mirror, they're looking at themselves, right? They're looking at themselves in the mirror. There's some mirroring going on is what I'm seeing. And I feel like this person was very selfish. They were very absorbed with themselves. It's like, um, they could do no wrong in their eyes. They could do no wrong. And there were some things that they did. And I feel like it wasn't until later that they're looking back and they're like, wow, I was wrong. Oh, I was just full of it. Um, so, yeah, you guys are leaving a one-sided connection. I do feel there's a reason um, why this separation happened because I do feel there was some kind of unfairness or, or um, treatment that you got that was very poor. Okay. Now we do got the palm tree with this stability, security, growth, okay, endurance, flexibility. So with this palm tree energy, there's um you're gaining stability back in your life. You guys are working on yourself, right? You're strengthening um yourself. You guys are growing from the situation. Some of you guys are growing thicker skin. I'm getting maybe you guys were very sensitive at one point, or there's some things your person said that really hurt you. You guys are growing thicker skin from that. Um, I'm also seeing stability wise, you guys are bettering yourself, okay? Through this experience, you're learning to rely on yourself for things, okay? Especially for my divine feminines out there, you know, you are paving the way for yourself, for your future. You're working on um, whether it's going back to school, learning new skills, starting a business, or something about your stability. You are. Um, you're in that like queen. I'm getting a pentacles energy, queen of pentacles, king of pentacles. Doesn't matter. You're taking ownership of um, your life. It's a very a powerful card. Um, powerful um, energy is what I'm feeling, and um, you guys are growing. You you are expanding. Okay, you're moving forward in your life. Let's get one more card here. The clock. Let's get one more. I don't know. I said I said one more that I get two. Right? How funny. So the clock is here. Need time. Takes time. So there's some kind of cycle here that's been going on for a very long time. Um, time to heal progress so yeah i do feel like your person was taking forever to do something in the past um you may have been waiting for this person to whether commit or to show their true selves right wearing a false mask some of you guys again there's been a lot of time since you guys have spoken to your person okay there's something about the clock so there's there's still a need for um time to heal time to recover your person um they may be very silent and distant because they need to get their, their acts together. They need to work on themselves. So there's some kind of progress that is taking place here. There's progress, there's movement. And we got the coffin energy. The coffin energy is endings, bringing new beginnings, right? Growth, change, transition. So there's some kind of big awakening here. Like I said, there's an ending. Like we go, we go through like the dark night of the soul during our awakening process. Now it's very difficult sometimes, right? But it allows us to see um, things that we didn't see before. A lot of you guys, a lot of us, we were just walking and we were not awoken to who we are, who we were. And now you guys, some of you guys are you're, you're so in touch with your higher self. You, um... You're, you're waking up and you just, your eyes are open, right? Your third chakra, you are connected with the birds, uh, the trees. Um, you're, you're really practicing, um, you're very close to your spirituality. Maybe you're very grounded. Maybe you guys meditate more. You're getting connected to the divine. You're getting messages, synchronicity, signs, all sequences, all those things. You are hearing spirit. Okay, so there's an ending, but there's a rebirth, there's a transitioning, there's changing, there's changes going on in this connection here. All right, so let's jump in to um, my sacred signs and symbols. Uh, this is one of my decks on my Etsy shop. Okay, I'm going to see what other messages we have for uh, this connection, my twin flames out there. Again, 10% off, promo code SOUL10. Get you 10% off of my Oracle decks as well, okay? All right, let's get some messages for my oops, twin flames out there.
What do we need to know, Spirit? Any messages here for my Twin Flames? Ooh, got the chocolate cake. Okay, let's get a few more cards out. Okay. All right, so we have the lamp post, the wheel. It's like the wheel of fortune. The wedding dress. Some of you guys were expecting to get married or you were looking for a commitment with this person. We got the chocolate cake. We got the tools and the suitcase. So let's go through this. So again, we talked a little bit about abandonment, okay? And that's why the lamppost came out. So there was an abandonment here. This person neglected you. There was a, I mean, getting out of nowhere, this person could have left you, okay? They could have stood you up. It's like they, they said maybe they were coming by and all of a sudden, um, this person probably had a tendency of doing that. Either they were never a timely person or um, they would... I feel like all of a sudden, just not show up. They would cancel on you. They'd say, oh, I have to reschedule. Um, but what I'm seeing for some of you guys, how the situation ended, this person um, abandoned the connection. I feel this person could have had abandonment issues themselves, okay? They could have been abandoned um, in the past, okay, as a child by a parent by a really close friend they also could have been been abandoned by a lover in the past okay so um unfortunately it's like this person was exposed to something and they did the same thing to you so there was some kind of abandonment neglect we do got this beautiful energy the wheel okay fate destiny fortune so there's some kind of fortune some kind of good luck positive energy that is coming toward you this is your energy this is coming your way toward the connection so there's some kind of change that's being taken place here all right now we got the wedding dress um so i do feel there could have been some issues regarding um com this person committing some of you guys you were planning your wedding in your head you were thinking or visualizing what the next stage would be like some of you guys you really were looking toward commitment you were trying to get engaged some of you guys were engaged and they all of a sudden they backed out they abandoned this um I feel like you guys could even been planning, you know, cohabituating, coming together, having a family, having children. Um, I feel like there was there was a possibility of a of a, a long standing, higher level commitment of some sort. Okay, I do feel with the wedding dress, there was definitely a promise for some of you guys, a promise that you guys would have have some kind of commitment. Okay, or marriage. You guys were looking forward to that. Now, we do got the suitcase. Now, we did talk about burdens here. Um, the burdens of your person, right? Holding back, not expressing themselves. This is what I'm talking about. Your person, they're carrying baggage, right? And they will continue to carry on this baggage until they're ready to be true their, to themselves, ready to take that mask off, okay? So I do feel like your person right now, um, they're struggling. They're going, you know, from perhaps person to person, relationship to relationship, holding on to dead weight. Okay, and I do feel like some of you guys they have a fear of being expressive, of of a fear of um, yeah, just being themselves. Okay, now we got the escapism energy. Your person could be trying to escape the connection. I feel like the abandonment, right neglect. That's what happened. This happened all of a sudden. They could have just left. They could have moved to a different town. Um, they could have changed their number. They could have blocked you. Um, they're trying to escape. Your person was trying to escape the reality of the connection. They were trying to escape the a commitment with you, some of you guys. They were trying to escape their feelings. Now, I do feel we got the tools and we got the chocolate cupcake. So this chocolate cupcake, so something here is unexpectedly going to happen. We got a tasty treat. We got unexpected surprise. So some of you guys, there's something that um, I'm getting Valentine's Day. There's something that could be coming towards you unexpectedly. Um, a text message, an email, um, a little picture. You know, we send those little uh, emojis and stuff. Something could be happening or coming towards you unexpectedly. Some of you guys are getting like, um, you know, the little fruit with chocolates in the mail or something from someone. Okay. It doesn't have to be your person, but I'm getting something unexpectedly is happening this card came out today and it's happened to be on valentine's day so tools okay so your person they know they have some fixing to do right they know they have a lot of work to do we got the repair the rebuild the construction so something is crumbling it's something essentially has tumbled down okay because something has to be rebuilt something has to be rebuilt on a solid structure so some of you guys who could have gone through a tower moment with this person but it was essential. It was necessary for things to be rebuilt on a solid structure. So there is a lot of 
construction going on okay mending repairing okay hammering there's there's uh, a lot of fixing that needs to um to be to happen here in this connection and i feel it has to really do with the stability okay your person perhaps wasn't stable okay at the time you met them they could have been going through um a lot of issues in their personal life. Some of you guys, they weren't in a career they wanted to be. They feel like they didn't have enough money. Um, they weren't really financially secure. So, so I do feel some of you guys, um, the separation was necessary for them to get more stable, okay? Um, but also on a mental, emotional level, okay? So let's see. What else we have when we got the wheel? All right. I'm going to get some messages here. Any of the messages from my twin flames, and we're gonna jump into tarot at the end, okay? All right, what do we need to know? Any other messages from my twin flames? Fix up my deck, I gotta make it look good. <laughs> my twin flames out there. Okay, judgment, discipline. So with the judgment coming out here, um, there was a decision that had to be made, and this person was avoiding making it. Okay, um, some of you guys, you've been waiting for some kind of finality or some kind of indication that you guys were going to move to this higher level of commitment. So you guys may have been waiting for a commitment with this person, but I feel like they kept putting it off, right? The clock energy. It's like you kept waiting, waiting, waiting. When is this person going to finally commit? When is this person going to finally express themselves? Okay, there was something you were waiting for and it never happened. It never came. Okay, instead, what happened was this person all of a sudden pulled back, right? They decide, you know what, I'm not going to do this anymore, as if they had a choice, right? All of a sudden, they pulled back. Well, we all have choices. We all have free will. But I feel like you guys, this person deceived you, right? The, the mask here, they deceived you. You really thought you guys were moving forward. You thought this had great potential, and it did. We got the palm tree. There was something very stable about this connection, but that's why we got the runner chaser. This person ran away, right? They ran away. They didn't want to deal with it. They didn't want to think about the reality of the situation. They didn't want to move forward. And uh, they escaped. They decide, you know what? I'm going to escape. I'm going to run away. And that's why we got the runner chaser here, right? So there's definitely a big abandonment issue here in this connection. Um, and it says, I understand with the judgment card, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So you guys are coming to understand this, right? That's your energy. You're saying to yourself, I understand that, you know what? We all have our, we all have, um, our path to take, right? We all have a divine purpose. We all have a plan that we, um, a plan that has already been programmed for us. That's so, that spirit wants for us, right? And so your soul is following that path. Some of you guys, your person was called to take a different route. And it wasn't the route with you at that time, right? There's something about time. You may have met the right person, but it was the wrong time is what I'm seeing here. Now, we got the discipline card, okay? There is a need for your person to be um, be more disciplined, okay? So if you, some of you guys are dealing with someone who, again, I said selfish. There's something very selfish about your person, okay? We got the one-sided energy, self-absorbed, narcissistic um, for some of you guys. And I feel like your person is, is learning that some of you guys, they were the only child of getting someone was the only child. They took you for granted. They liked, I'm getting someone was very spoiled in your love. Like, it's like you would give, 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 and this person would take, take, take. All right. I'm do getting an energy of someone who was the only child or was treated as if they were the only child. I'm getting the golden child. You see the golden mirror? There was, they were like the golden child in their family. And they expected to be treated a certain way. And now your person is learning to be more disciplined. There, there's some kind of discipline here. Your person may be going through some kind of disciplinary acts or um, they're learning how to, I'm um, getting someone is in the army, it's military. I'm getting some, pulling in from something from the military. Um, but what I'm seeing is that, yeah, um, you guys are also learning to be disciplined. Like, this is the energy I feel mutually. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So you guys are being more disciplined um, about what you need to do right now. You're focusing on your stability, how you want to move forward. Some of you guys are very spiritual. You're connected, right? You are focusing on um, maybe your business. You're starting something new. You're there's something that you're passionate about, okay? And you want to be more disciplined with that. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Okay, we have health. So some of you guys, um, this person or you could be going through some health issues, okay? Or maybe the, the connection, the relationship has really taken a toll on your health. 
okay i'm getting more emotionally and physically there was some imbalances you guys may have poured everything into this person that it compromised your health okay you were not happy some of you guys you went through some kind of deep dark depression because of this connection because of the abandonment that this person um put you through okay and what i'm seeing is that you guys went through a difficult time you went through a difficult time and i feel like your your health was definitely um not a priority some of you guys you, you stopped eating you stopped reaching out to friends okay you stopped doing things that you loved before because of this connection so there is a need for balance right and i feel like you guys gave gave too much to this person to the situation and when this person pulled back your whole life crumbled it did and um it says i will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul okay so you guys are making sure that you're taking care of your health okay you're putting yourself first all right not this connection yourself first and if you love yourself you will love you know if you love yourself you will truly be sure to take care of yourself okay so we have the doubt and we have the empathy okay so i put your person definitely had a lot of doubts about their abilities to um commit to love you that could have been a reason why this never really happened never really um moved forward okay there were some doubts here doubts about their ability to um just move forward in a committed partnership with you okay um your person it could be suffering i'm getting like a king of pentacles in reverse energy and i'm gonna get the tower up in a little bit but what i'm seeing is that you know typically this is someone who Feels they're not good enough. They could be low self-esteem. Okay, they could be someone you're dealing with who is very um, hard on themselves. That's what I'm saying. They they expect a lot from themselves. So they had a lot of doubt about their ability. There's some kind of fears here. And we also have the empathy card. Um, your person could be learning to empathize. I feel like some of you guys are dealing with someone who's very cold, natured, or detached. And you could have been the more loving uh, person. You could have been more... Um, vulnerable and very em empathize with people in touch with your feelings and emotions and sharing and this person didn't okay they weren't able to um, empathize there's something here about empathy that they're learning okay as a result of this connection all right let's see let's get the tarot what do we need to know please Oops. clear messages here for my twins If this resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we do got the Three of Cups and the King, Queen of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, some of you guys, they, they stopped talking to you and went cold on you, went silent because of a third party. Some of you guys, it could have been friends, could have been family. It could have been a lover, okay? I feel like your person, I'm um, getting that Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys, um, there could have been a fight. There could have been arguing between you guys. Um, but I just feel all of a sudden your person... They distance themselves from you and you never got the clarity. You never got the answers here. Okay. Um, yeah, you never got the answers as to what really happened. Why this person just stopped talking, why they stopped communicating. But there's some kind of silence here or withholding of information. Some of you guys, this person lied to you. Yeah, they lied to you regarding their dealings with someone else. And you may have known you caught them in a lie. For some of you guys, you knew that there was another person or someone involved. Others of you guys, your person just wanted to date. They just wanted to be casual friends. They didn't want commitment. Okay? You guys were moving toward this connection. I feel like something could have happened very fast. You guys hit it off really fast. And something was really moving in the right direction. And all of a sudden, your person put the brakes on it right got the coffin energy they put an end to the situation here and what i'm seeing is because they wanted to just be casual they just wanted to be friends they wanted to just be uh liberated they didn't want to be bogged down they didn't want to have to be accountable to anyone so i do feel some of you guys your person escaped this connection because they just wanted to um keep their options open with the three of cups here all right let's see yeah, we got the Nine of Pentacles. So this is the energy of being independent, single, working on self, right? We got the palm tree. So both of you guys, during a separation, you're really um forwarding yourself. You're building your own empire, okay? Um, you guys are really enjoying, some of you guys are really enjoying the sense of um, freedom, okay? Being alone, the singlehood, what it, uh, the, all the good things that come with it, okay? But you guys are um, 
I'm getting that growing. Your soul is growing, but you're also growing yourself. Um, and I'm getting something financially. Something could be happening. Okay, something could be up. Uh, opening doors are opening financially for you guys where you're more stable you're more secure and you don't have to rely on people especially if you guys were in a codependent relationship with this person okay i'm getting that you guys are no longer you're, you're freeing yourself okay you're not restricted to this person or anybody because now you have your own so that's a beautiful energy okay yeah so look at that let's take them all we got the Six of Pentacles here. We got the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, Ace of Pentacles, and the Moon. So what I'm seeing is that, yeah, there was some serious imbalances, right? The Six of Pentacles, um, a lack of reciprocity. You gave, gave, gave this person, gave very little in return. And um, I do feel now you guys are coming to terms with that. You didn't see it when you were with this person because you were blinded. Some of you guys, you just didn't see things. Right, you didn't see how things truly existed because you could have been so madly in love with this person. They were delusions, right? They were things that were just you were just not aware, right? And I feel with the hermit, Virgo energy, you guys are now um in the energy you're, you're going within. You found some answers. Um, you are doing things that's more in balance with yourself. You're doing things that puts yourself first. Okay, there's um. Things are more in equal, uh, more in equilibrium, okay? And you're more in alignment with yourself, with your higher self and your purpose. So I do feel like, yeah, there was some imbalances with regard to this person's investments in you. I feel like they could have, um, it's like you, things that you did for this person, they wouldn't do in return. Some of you guys, you planned like a big party for this person. You went above and beyond for the, like their birthdays and holidays and Valentine's Day in particular, right? Um, and, and like this person didn't even do that. Okay, some of you guys, they were just a gift giver, but when they gave to you on an emotional level, you, you were robbed of happiness. They didn't give you the same love that you desired. I'm getting, yeah, this person could have been a gift giver. They could have gave, like, you know, gifts, chocolate cake here. They could have gave you, um, you know, something tangible. But I feel like when it came to this person giving on the emotional level, the expressing feelings and being affectionate or something um, more than just, you know, a hug and all that stuff, it, this person wasn't able to give you in that way, okay? So you guys, um, you were suffering. You you know you you actually needed more, but you didn't see that in the moment when you're with this person. Now, we do got the moon in reverse, okay? Um, Cancer, Pisces, it also could be Scorpio. But I do feel like there was a period of time where there was, where we, it was a lot of emotions here you were going through, okay? Uh, there was also some secrets here of your person, and that could have sparked a very um, emotional time for you. Some of you guys, you found out things this person hid from you, and some of you guys are really trying to find out information, and that could have made you very anxious, okay? Um, but the moon is telling me something here is coming out. There is something that's no longer being hidden, all right? Um, in this ace of pentacles, some of you guys, you found out this person was in another commitment, or um, you could have been uh, aware that this person was not going to give you the commitment that you needed. That's what I'm feeling. For some of you guys, you expected a commitment. This person never gave it to you. But it's like you had high antis anticipation that it would happen and never came. Okay? There was some kind of deception around a commitment here is what I'm seeing. Um, but ultimately, uh, there's something that is coming out. There's... there's illumination okay you guys are not going to be left in the dark or there's nothing hidden at this point anymore you guys are finding the answers right with the hermit in reverse here something is coming out so that is what i have for you guys let me get some last messages from the moonology oracle deck this is one of my longer readings wow okay surrender to the divine mm -hmm. surrender so spirit is telling you have to just let go let go of control issues, surrender. Both of you guys are surrendering, right? Both of you guys are, are being challenged to surrender. Your person's being challenged to surrender to the connection. Just be yourself. Be true to who you are. If you have feelings, express them. You guys are surrendering because you're just, you know what? You're saying, you know what? It's not going to happen tomorrow. It may not happen next week. I'm just going to let go of control issues. I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to do what I need to do and work toward um, bettering myself, okay? Get two more step out of your comfort zone okay so you guys are being called to step out of your comfort zone do something that you wouldn't ordinarily do um 
chase your dreams okay start that business um start a youtube channel whatever step out of your comfort zone okay your person is also being told to step out of their comfort zone right if they want to speak don't be silent don't hold your tongue don't sit behind um you know uh, a, a wall here okay take your mask off step out of your comfort zone speak your mind okay and we have what do you need to release okay so some of you guys what is it that you need to release fear doubts um hurt disappointment your person what do they need to release a karmic okay um jealousy um something from the past like it be it could just be baggage right so it's calling you to release whatever you need to release okay all right so that's what i have for my twin flames out there i hope this resonates for you i'm sending you my love and blessings happy valentine's day again um i hope you enjoyed this uh like share comment and subscribe take care and stay safe